Okay, so then what we need to do is we need to mark the center of each side. So what Doris is doing is she's putting the seam, the seam here on the side seams together so that where the fold is, she can put a pin to mark the center of the bag. We're going to place the handles um, equidistance from the center of the bag. Okay, so there's one pin and there's the other pin. So you see the pins uh, right here. The pins are in the center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take two handles. Did you have these set up to match each other at all? Well, that's only three handles. Oops, here's the last one. Okay, so what we need to do is that we need to put the handles six inches apart. So what I like to do is to actually put them three inches from the center. Here, take over it with the camera, and then you can watch what I do here. So what I like to do is I have this gridded mat here. So I put the pin at one line here. Okay, I, it's hard to see, but it, it's right here at one line. I stick a pin in here three lines over from the center, like that. Okay. Then I take a, a strap, and I put it, I, I put my hands like this so that my thumbs are both on one side and my fingers are both on one side. So I put the same side of the strap against the bag. I don't want to put a twist in the strap. I want the same side of the strap to be against the, the bag on each end. Now I'm going to put the pin, there's a pin here, I'm going to put the strap just outside of where that pin is. And I'm going to pin it in place like this and then I'll pull that pin out. Now I like to put two pins in because the strap will have a tendency to pivot if it's on one pin. If I put a pin here, the strap can pivot and get crooked, become crooked, and we want it perpendicular to the edge. Now, a lot of people say, wait, the strap's going the wrong way. It should be going up. Well, once we sew around the edge with the zipper strip and, and flip it around, it will be coming out of the edge. So we want it to be going down like a U-shape like this. So then we flip the bag over. Here's the red pin that's in the middle. I set that so that's on a grid mark. I'm going to ignore the pins from the other side, but I have it on that grid mark. I go over one, two, three squares like that, and I go over three squares. You could also take and use a sewing gauge or some type of ruler and measure from the center three inches on either side. I just happen to have this grid on the table. Why not use what we have? All right. So then I've got this other strap here. I can then, again, I go like this, so I put it the same sides against the bag. I don't want to put a twist in it. All right, so then I put this just next to the pin outside of it, away from the center, and I put a pin in over here, and then I pull this one out and stick it in. Then I go here, and I put a pin in here, and then put this one here. Now, if at all possible, I'm going to leave this center pin in because we're going to need to match that up with the zipper strip. So it's good to keep that mark there. Then you're going to sew this down. You've already sewn the liner and the bag together. And I would sew across the straps to hold them down until we actually put the zipper strip on. 